So often, art is presented to us with an artist statement, telling the viewer what it means. Of course, every selection in this collection had an emotional reaction for me. My true goal was to see what each image would evoke from a diverse spectrum of people. I handed 10 people a portfolio of images that they'd never seen before and asked them to take a minute to look and share any ideas, stories, or emotions that came to them. Here's a small sampling of what they had to say. This is how people fall in love in books. I feel like he's talking to her about Jesus. That looks like the Bible to me. She's, she's thinking probably things that are probably not in the Bible. A little bit skeptical. Romantic. <laughs> it looks like he's pouring his heart out to her. This looks a bit sinister. That's awesome. That's scary. Yeah, that's <laughs> scary. But you can sort of see just like creeping darkness. A man who thinks he's a monster who sees in himself the form of what he is. Reminds me of like an enchanted forest. It should be relaxing, but it makes me a little tense. You used to go to swimming in places like that and give it not a thought. There were kids running off this old pier and just flying out there. I've always had an interest in the handmade feel and one-of-a-kind results an artist can achieve using an image transfer. By using wood, plastic, stone, and metal, I feel that the final pieces in the collection are enhanced by the medium on which they are shown. This collection needs to be interacted with. Now you are the viewer and the ball is in your court. Share your thoughts online or contact me at blue at blueiron.com to discover which gallery the collection will appear at next so you can add your own sticky note.